minor Hindu girl forcibly converted to Islam and married to a 40 year old man. This happened in Chundiko Sindh, or Sindh. That's good. And, um, in Sindh province. Prov- prov- province. Well, you have, okay, you did the Indian ones good, but the English the English. Had- <laughs> no, okay, this is copy editing, okay? okay. Um, <laughs> don't blame me, it's the copy editing. Um, the Sindh Child Marriage Restraint Act was unanimously passed in 2014. Um, and recently we saw the forced marriage of a 14-year-old girl to her 40-year-old abductor. The 14-year-old Hindu girl was forced to convert to Islam by Mohammed Akhtar. Uh, guys, we need to mention the country, not just the province. This is Pakistan, right? Oh, yes, Pakistan. Right. Um, so she was kidnapped and forced to convert to Islam by uh, Mohammed Akhtar Darijo in the province where marriage below 18 years old is considered a punishable offense. Social media users are calling on government action and expressing outrage. Um, I did a little research on this and in 2019 alone, more than 41 girls belonging to Hindu faith have been kidnapped and forced to convert by force. Um, This happened in the only province in Pakistan where child marriage is illegal. It's legal. In, illegal. Illegal. Yes. Yeah, Wait, apparently, apparently child marriage is illegal. illegal only in Sindh, and in the entirety of rest of Pakistan, it is still legal. Wait, so it's allowed in all of Pakistan to marry a child, except in Sindh, Sindh in this yeah. province, where this happened. Where this actually happened. Okay. Wow. Well, wow. Well, all right. And the forty-one cases are from Sindh alone. Not the entire Pakistan. Wait, why I mean, is it happening more in the in the province that it's illegal? No, I mean oh. if you if you count the entirety of Pakistan, there are over a thousand cases per oh, year. Oh, okay, year. never mind. Jeez. All right, this is a disaster. All right, go on. Sorry, Susanna, you were saying. Um, yeah. So this act that it only applies in this province is a punishable offense, but the implementation is basically a hoax. It's not uh, existing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is getting more attention compared to all those other thousands of child marriages because it it wasn't it's two things at the same time. It's not just a child marriage; it's also a forced conversion plus a child marriage, which I guess it makes it lo- lo- get a lot more attention, especially because a lot of Hindus probably would want to bring attention to this. Am I right? Like a lot of Hindus would probably get triggered by this and use this as fuel. I mean, some of okay. The I, I of, just had something to say about that, but go I'm on. Not no, okay, go on. So I, okay, so I mean, a few weeks ago, we were reporting on the NRC and the CAA been implementing on India about the minorities. Right. Like, let's not get too much into it because then we have yeah, to explain. No, all I, of that. I, yeah. yeah. So the CAA, which gives like citizenship to uh, religious minorities and the neighboring countries of India, uh, excluding Muslims. Okay, right. so uh, they, those Indians, I mean, the uh, right-wing Indians who are supporting that the CAA are like, this, I mean, they're just pointing to this news and they're right. This is the reason why we need to bring them I mean, the religious minorities into India because they're being persecuted in countries like Pakistan and everything else. I wanted to say that, no, the CAA doesn't uh, do that. I mean, it's being implemented with other things. So Right, right. Okay, so Shubham, you you have to say it in a way because a lot of people have no idea what any of this is. So a lot of anti-Muslim discriminatory laws in India, which is is disguised as giving... um, disguised as being a way for helping Hindu and non-Muslim refugees in other countries to come to India. Now you're saying a lot of people in India are saying like, look, this is why we need these laws, which is ridiculous because you could make the same argument about Muslims from China that need like, a ref- you know, might need refugee status or Muslims from Burma. Um, I mean, if you're making a law to help refugees, why would you even have anything that says everybody, including and not, and not inc- excluding Muslims, in there? Like, why is that there? 
and you're mentioning even because, even Muslims, even on, Ahmadiyya no. Muslims from Pakistan. Right, but the whole point is that this law was designed along with another law to just demographically re-engineer India, but also to, um, you know, to be able to get more votes for the Hindutva, um, you know, for the right-wing Hindu party that is in India, the BJP and stuff like that. So that's a... See, I, I have to mention it as if people have no, like... Um, you know, some people yeah, have no idea. Yeah, I forget that. Like, this is not common knowledge for people, because yeah. I'm mostly speaking to a foreign audience. Um. Yeah. But is okay. So we know that the child marriage in Pakistan is illegal, illegal only in this province. But what about forced conversions? Is there any backlash to forced conversions in in Pakistan? Like, I mean, how this do- is. This is what in India the right wing people love to call it love jihad. They just right. marry the girl, and because she is a woman or female, she has to get converted to the religion of the male. This happens in India too. In case of Hinduism, it happens. Right, but let's not let's not let's be fair. This is a w- much worse thing in Islam. Okay, like I mean, I'm I can hear some Hindus coming and saying like, "Look, wow, you guys are amazing." A, a story that is so obviously anti-Islam and should be against how barbaric and backward Islam is, you guys still manage to somehow make that about Hinduism <laughs> and how bad Hinduism is. <laughs> no, is no. So, be, be you, Hindu folks, you Hindu folks take any opportunity to just bash Hinduism. <laughs> okay, to be, to be fair, Hinduism doesn't have forced conversion. Right. <laughs> right. Yes, yes. No. Yeah. Okay. So let's just be fair. As, okay. As much as we bash Hinduism and we attack Hinduism, there is not e- Hinduism is not even close to how destructive and harmful and barbaric Islam is. Okay. They're both destructive. They're both harmful. They're both nonsense. But Islam takes num- Islam is number one. Let's just be clear. Islam is number one when it comes to among living religions. All living religions, Islam takes the cake. Okay. So just wanted to make that clear. I remember seeing a case, it was a, it was a different story, but it just speaks to that, where a girl was kidnapped, forcibly converted, then married, then she escaped, and then she deconverted or went back to her original faith of Hinduism, and then people were calling for her to be killed because she's now a coffin. Yeah. Right. It's just terrible. Wow. Okay. Uh, Rivka, did you want to add anything? No, no. Okay. Just... All right. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not. Telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like. No, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.